Recording. Welcome to Jackson. Must be Jackson, Kentucky. Welcome to Jackson, Kentucky. I just love how they cut the road like that. That's so cool. I mean, definitely don't want to run off the road. Huh. Would not be good. No. That's, uh, that's, I think that might be a death sentence, depending. This is some lost footage that I found on my SD card when we were going through Jackson, Kentucky on the way back from the Tale of the Dragon. And this was where, back in August 12th, where all the flooding happened in some of the areas that we were going through. And it was really devastating to see a lot of the trash and a lot of the homes that were lost and the people that were just dumbfounded from what happened. But this is what we saw when we went through. Recording. You know, they... uh they said that there was some serious flooding in parts of Kentucky and, and, and there were some other states too, I think, but I, and hopefully this, let me shut this for a second. Hopefully uh, I run into some more, but we're talking, okay, houses, uh, cars, Buses, concrete trucks, I mean, just washed right away. And, and, and there was like one just like scattered all over the road. On this side there were some, and on this side was some more. So, I mean, I and we just passed another mobile home that was literally, there was a pile of garbage there. Um, literally that uh, uh, just came right off its foundation. Another pile of garbage. You know, and I, I, I mean... Hopefully nobody lost their life. I don't, I haven't kept up with all that. Uh, I just know that when I searched about going on driving through this area, it said possible route relocations or route, uh, different, it was gonna send me on an alternate route basically because due to flooding and road closures, so, you know, I, Godspeed to all these people down here. See, there's another big just pile of trash. There's lots of piles of trash everywhere. But, you know, I was driving and, and one home was like gone. And the next home was fine. You know, not nothing wrong with it. But, you know, some of these homes have, there's a lot of trash. So all those homes right there have been flooded. I mean, they're not, they're, they don't even look good they don't even look habitable so all that i mean uh, you can see trash on trees like 30 feet up so those these rivers just tripled in size sometimes more and washed away a whole bunch of stuff i am i'm and and seeing it on the news is one thing guys but actually seeing it in real life is a complete other story. And, and I almost wish I turned around and just drove back to, to picture, uh, take a picture of that house that literally was off its foundation. I mean, it, it just, and it was a mobile home. It looked like it floated about 30 feet one way, you know, probably from the, the water current. But yeah, I remember hearing that they had to, rescue had to go through and rescue people off their roofs and the water was rising really fast. I'm sorry to hear about all that to some of the people out there if, if they've lost something or someone. Uh, but very devastating just looking at it in person. And there's, I see a whole bunch of electrician trucks, electrical trucks like the power company driving around all over the place like they're still attaching power to some places. Um, 
and, and just a lot of debris. There were some parts of the road that were underwater, uh, and, and you can see that dirt washed across the road. You know, being a motorcycle, you got to be careful. But yeah, very devastating, guys. I mean, there was there was one bridge that was like crumbled. It was gone. There was uh, another driveway to a house that was, it's like, you could see, it's like they had to go across this creek and their driveway was gone and there was nothing but these big metal beams, but they had like three cars sitting in their driveway. And I'm thinking, well, that doesn't look recent or that, I mean, that must not be recent, but yeah, it was recent. Uh, now they got to get that stuff fixed. Ho hopefully they got insurance. But yeah, if I see any more, I'm going to definitely uh, snap some pictures um, or video it because it's, uh, it's pretty devastating, pretty heavy, I should say. Heavy would be a good word for it. I'm not seeing much of anything else. And we are following the river, cut the road next to the river. But yeah, guys, if I see anything else, I'll definitely stop and check it out. I just couldn't believe how many cars I was seeing. And I'm like, why do those cars look like they are so dirty? Like they've been sitting there for 30 years, just dirty and gross, like moss on them. That green algae underneath water. And then the water receded, and that's what was left on the car. Crazy. But, you know, like, I would say all that stuff sitting out in front of that place, that's a place flooded. You know, a lot of these places flooded. Just because the home didn't wash away didn't mean that it, there ain't no type of water damage in there somewhere. But, yeah. Yeah, you can see how that water was high because the trees are definitely pushed uh, hitting the rumble strip in the center keep my eyes on the road yeah let's let's uh let's just keep filming just for a second it might be something around the corner up here i don't want to up, upset my other video my tail of the dragon if i got it Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing else, guys. But if I see something, I'm definitely going to snap some pictures. Because I could not believe. I should have stopped. But, you know, we're just trying to get through this little area here. What you doing there? <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'll talk to you in just a few.